Praise the Lord, precious hearts. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and this is Just In Case. It's Monday, March 16th, 2020. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're being blessed. Hope you enjoyed a great weekend. Spring is in the air, wouldn't you say? Yes, it is. Mm, I love the springtime. I can look at the trees and see the blooms. I don't know. What do you call them? Are they uh, my, my mother's favorite? Uh, dogwood tree. Dogwood trees. She wanted so many to be planted in her yard. You know, in her area. Dogwood trees. Oh, she's enjoying even more beautiful seasons than ever with the Lord at this time. I thank God for the memories of such a wonderful woman. A woman that was able to trust God and she came through the hard times learned how to lean on him each and every day. Theodosia Howard. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful legacy of faith in our foreparents. Huh? This weekend, uh, we had to work one day, but uh, Sunday, oh, blessed Sunday. It was wonderful. It was. It was wonderful. Went to uh, early morning service at Olivet. And uh, I don't know. Olivet has a way to charge you up. You know what I mean? You're charged up. You get in that service and you give what you have to give. Those praises, those thanksgivings, those prayers. You are Sunday school charged up. And by the time you get out of there, you're ready for a new week. You know, you're ready for a new week. Uh, went to our 8 o'clock service and our pastor spoke and thank God. Oh, Lord, did you know that yesterday was the National Day of Prayer? Yeah. I, I had the feeling, you know, when I went to church Sunday, I said, Lord, wouldn't it be something if our pastors would ordain a day like today, like Sunday, for a day of prayer, you know? The Bible tells us if we were to humble ourselves and pray, He would heal our land. If we turned from our wicked way, He would heal the land. We know what's going on in, in uh, nationwide, worldwide. And our pastor reminded us that the 15th of March was the National Day of Prayer yesterday. And it just so happened to be our Sabbath. We were all gathered in the house of God. Before I go any further, let me pray. Let me approach the throne of grace where we can find help in the time of need. This is a needy time. We ask you, Father God, to please forgive us for all unrighteousness. Lord, there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Father God, we thank you that your promises are yea and amen. We ask you to please forgive us, Lord for all unrighteousness. Create in us clean hearts, renew a right spirit. Use us for your glory today. For these are days, Lord Jesus, so trusting in you. And we must trust you with our whole heart. We can't lean to our own understanding. These are times, Lord, that separate babies from adults. 
men from boys, women from little girls. We have to trust you. Lord, and I'm trusting you for this day, this 16th day of March. Thanking you, Father God, for another day's journey, for keeping us through the night, giving us strength and courage, for allowing your angels to abide in us. Thank you, Father God, for reasonable proportion of health and strength and life. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I got me a good cup of coffee. This is a stout cup of coffee. And that'll take me through the day, through the morning, and uh, most of the afternoon. Well, once again, went to uh, uh, 8 o'clock service. That was a blast. As the pastor spoke, ah, wonderfully, powerfully, about uh, Cain and Abel, and about the children uh, of uh, Adam and Eve, Cain slew Abel, and uh, uh, they, she had another child, Eve had another child after that. And um, Seth is his name. Seth. The pastor told us the meaning of Seth. After Seth was born, then men began to call on the name of the Lord. Why? Because they realized how weak they were. That's why we call on him, because we realize that without him we can do nothing. We've got to trust him. We've got to trust him. Went to uh, Macedonia Baptist Church on Main Street, and they fed us like there was no tomorrow. I tell you... The body of Christ is trusting God, and and it's if is it's as if we are walking through water. Of course, this um, pandemic, as they call it, has uh, virtually just begun. But uh, I can see victory. I can see victory. And we're walking through this uh, the Red Sea. And so much has, has happened so far, so much, so many things to bring us together, to help us to trust Him. So that's what we're doing. We're trusting Him and praising God. Macedonia's pastor uh, blessed us with a beautiful meal. Pastor spoke once again. We are reading this morning from the 91st Psalms, and that's the scripture that uh, we were asked to read yesterday, every day, the 91st Psalms. And it starts on the seventh chapter we read. Um, well, I'm going to start from the beginning. And I'm reading it out of the New American Standard Bible. You know, you either have to believe God or you don't. And you're going to find out a lot of things. Uh, at this time about those who say they believe God. Okay. And just pray. That's all you can do. Just pray. 
pray for them because there are there will be those who will um, they're just uh, uh, intimidated by the least little thing. I tell you of some of the things that have happened to some people would happen to others. They wouldn't have survived because of the lack of faith. Lack of faith. All you need is a little faith, you know. And I'm not going to say that I all have I own it all because I don't. But from what I've seen of his tender mercies and his care, he loves me. He's never failed me yet. Called my children, they're all fine. Grandbabies are well. That's what the blood of Jesus will do for you. Cover your children with the blood. Cover your children, pray for them. And uh, if you find yourself with the uh, differences, because you'll see your you know, you'll, you'll uh, confront those who have different, uh, a different view of the Bible. And uh, they're, they're very um, precautious, of course. We know from a child we should wash our hands, but we are, uh, there is a, a continual, how would you say, Fear is tormenting, and uh, you'll be fearful over one thing or another. And fear can lock you down, and fear can cause you to say things um, and act in ways that will harm other people. Fear, just fearful, afraid of... Uh, everything because that's what he'll do it's a phobia mm -hmm. a phobia but listen to what the Lord says about you and me those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High okay and I'm reading the 91st Psalm out of the New American Standard uh, Bible and I'm going to read number one uh, the first verse down to the uh, I think it's the 16th verse yes has 16 verses in the 91st Psalms let me encourage you as well Olivet is reading this every day amongst their other readings and prayers Stand on his word. Trust in his might. He'll bring you through. Yes, he will. Either you believe his word or you don't. I can believe some of it sometimes. Some of it other times. And, oh, this I'm a back off more of it. I don't believe God can keep me. You know? Well, which way is it? Some people say you can't totter the fence. You know, you're on one side or the other. But um, let's see who wins this battle. Let's see if the enemy has more power than God. Let's see. I'm going to believe God and I'm going to stay on the winning side. I'm not going to doubt him. He's brought me too far. How about you? He who dwells in this shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him, in whom I trust. For it is He who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly 
pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions or his wings. And under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or for the arrow that flies by day of the pestilence that stalks in darkness or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You'll only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord, for I, uh, you have made the Lord my refuge. Even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. And the 16th verse says, with a long life, I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. Hallelujah. Can I get any plainer than that? The New American Standard. I can read it again in the King James if you care to hear it. I tell you, it's beautiful. Maybe I'll just put it on the screen. Here it is. Thank you, Jesus. New American Standard. Hallelujah. What would we do without the Lord? Hmm? If you ever needed him before, ever believed in him, you got to believe in him now. I mean, believe in all of it, not just take little bits and pieces out of the Word. Believe all of the Word. The American Standard Version says it this way. Very easy to read. Now I'll read from the seventh verse. Our pastors read from the seventh verse unto American Standard Bible. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's just a beautiful thing to read. You can have faith and, and stand on his word. You know, that's what separates the, uh, you know, babies from adults. Right now we are, whether we want to or not, we've got to... Uh, We've got to trust him. He who dwells in the shelter, and this is the American Standard Bible, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You'll not be afraid of the terror by night. 
or the arrow that flies by date of the okay come on computer hallelujah but you can see how that stand it sounds very much like the uh, the American standard version my computer is having a hissy fit sometimes I think it's uh, there's a possession in it you know I have to rebuke it in Jesus name Fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night or for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that wasted at, uh, that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall my, any plague come nigh thy dwellings. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their, ha in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, thou shalt trample underfoot. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise God for Jesus. You know, I could read this in every version there is. And there are hundreds of different versions to read the 91st Psalms in. But unless I really believe it, it does me no good. It does me no good. I'm just gathering as a social club. Thank God for churches that have faith in God. Thank God for churches that believe and stand on his word and will not trust in man nor what he has to uh, offer trusting in your riches, trusting in your 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 fortune, your fame, your your property or you know that's not what's going to take us through. These are the beginnings of sorrows, saints. And man's hearts will fail them for fear. The word says so. Okay, so watch as well as pray. Watch as well as free. You'll see those uh, today who will want to bump fist and uh, clink elbows, okay? You'll also see people who will not uh, praise God, open their mouth to say a hallelujah or a thank you, Jesus, or clap their hands. Okay, I can take bits and pieces of this Bible and believe it. Bits and pieces. And call myself a Christian. I don't know. You tell me. But love and pray for. But he that overcometh shall inherit all things. You got to overcome. And the only way you can overcome this world is through your faith. Mm -hmm. And with joy we draw waters from the wells of salvation. 
with joy. Hallelujah. Can I encourage you to trust God a little bit more today than you did yesterday? Can I encourage you to love the Lord a little bit more? Stand, stay in His presence, think on His goodness, and remember your 91st Psalms. It was given to you by our forefathers years ago. David wrote the 91st Psalm to encourage us in this year, this 16th day of March, year 2020, the year of uh, reckoning. Okay, when he comes back, will he find faith on the earth? That's what the Bible says. Will he? I mean to make it in, and I know you do too. May God bless you. Remember to call on him. He answers prayer. Forgive, love, trust. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on him, not on man, but on him. God bless you today. I've got to go down the road a piece. Got to give God the praise and the glory that he deserves. He's kept me. I know he's kept you. He's kept my family. He's blessed us thus far, and I'm going to believe him until the day I leave this earth. I'm just passing through. My name is Mother Gertrude.